Hello everybody, my name is Aceface, we're here in the T0-T6 Abyss series and I just realised that I was doing this site here until the third room where we've got Kerbalus Tyrannos and I forgot to hit the record button, <laughs> I forgot to hit the record button so if you guys are curious, it's another one of those crap runs with 11 million isk nothing special, we can see what we get in the buy adaptive but we'll see if we can get something decent from the next room the next room uh, could be maybe another shot at getting some good loot. I've recently trained quite a few drone skills so I've actually got a lot better drone control range now. I've got 57 kilometer drone control range. We can tell our drones to fly to whomever we please and when we get max skills then we'll be able to send them out at 60 kilometers as well. It'll be even better. We even train these at my drone specialization just for the sake of it because we've not got much other skills to train actually. So you just have perfect drone skills in every shape or form. A mass specialization, medium pulse laser specialization, they'll find everything that'll fly. Oh, it seems like our drone's taking quite a bit of damage. I think that could be because there's a Demon Automata Suppressor nearby. Yeah, there's a medium range Demon Automata Suppressor. But it seems like they're now out of range, they're taking less damage. And really bad loot. I, I don't understand. The, the loot here, it just feels so bad that like we may as well do some other tier filament if we were not uh, like really good at doing t2 solo abyss in uh, the what kind of skill the ships that require the skills we've got currently i feel like that might almost be as good because that would be good in the way that we're using a cheaper ship doing uh, an activity that is pretty uh, profitable because here it just feels like just the loot is not good it's occasionally good but a lot of the time it's not and that's a bit annoying. Uh, the only thing I would say that is a lot different to the T2 solo abyss in the frigate is probably when we get good loot, it's a lot better than it was in good loot in the T2 abyss. In T2 abyss, you could say that maybe the loot is a bit more consistent, but it's consistently a bit lower. The the T4 abyss is quite low, like sometimes even lower, but occasionally it can be really high and a lot higher than T2 abyss. But when you take into consideration the profit you get because of the filament price it is not actually as good as uh, you would want it to be like the 7 million every single room is not good like look here got 15 million isk minus 7 million isk like what is that this baby isk here we've got 8 million like, just like that like, we seriously could have done something better worth our time and get more isk so it's just really really silly really really silly actually and that's something that also is that you some uh, like a pro to the t2 abyss is that you would then spend very little cost on the filaments because filaments of T2 uh, sites are really, really, really cheap. They're basically dirt cheap. They don't, they're not worth anything. Same thing with like T4 Firestorm as well. They're basically worth nothing. So we'll do the next site. Okay, so we're in a new site here. Got some extraction nodes to the right and there's 184 kilometers away. We can make our way towards those over there. Lucid Deep Watch is pretty long waves, but they're not too bad. They're pretty chill because they're very easy to avoid their application. We'll just keep moving and grab these and then we'll deploy them to you probably near those, uh, near the Bioadaptive over there. Can we launch a squad shot here? There we go. And we'll go to this Bioadaptive. I probably should have, this is a bit of a mistake I did, but when we had these frigates approaching us, it would have been very favorable for me to you scorch directly because when they're approaching us directly then they have a uh, very favorable transversal like our turrets are able to hit properly they don't have to turn much our turrets now they're orbiting us it's going to be difficult for our turrets to hit them because they're like, really all over the place as you can see here right, there we go actually there we can still shoot they're still very far away and we're taking a bit of damage from the lucid deep watches and that does happen that occasionally does happen when you're approaching them directly and it does also happen when you're not using your armor repair. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, what the, why is it not working? Okay, let's lock that uh, extraction node up. Okay, we'll go for the escort instead. Go for this and go for this. And then we'll deploy the MT right next to the transfer conduit so that everything is directly available for us to jump to the next room con flag there we go i will launch this mtu here 
over this at 500. Should be easy now. Oh, that's really great. Look at that. Look how all these extraction nodes are really close. They're like 30 kilometers. I was thinking that they're really far away because we saw that there was an extraction node that was like 80 kilometers, something like that. It's actually no problem. It's really, really smooth. Hmm. Really great to see. Let's orbit the transfer conduit. Deep Watcher. Deep Watcher, Deep Watcher. These guys, I think they're pretty cool. I like their names. The Deep Watchers are in the depths of the abyss, watching from the deep. <laughs> My uh, one of my alts is actually called Lucid Deep Watcher, just because I like the name. Okay, he is done now, just for the last one, and also for the last extraction node, too. And we probably should get closer actually, because our con flag doesn't hit out that far, it's probably full off his 18 kilometers. Yeah, so we're not doing optimal amount of damage. Really love the sounds of these lasers. They're so good since the update that they had quite a while ago when they updated many of the sounds. Feel so much more satisfied to hear the laser pulses going off. Easy, 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 easy. The Zilla is really powerful, really great. I just would have loved to do T5. We could perhaps try testing some runs in T5, but I don't think it'll at all work out well if we're just gonna like jump into T5 with this fit here. I'm sure. This fit can like, do T5 some runs, but there are, I think, definitely going to be some runs where we're not able to do T5, and that's going to be very tragic, losing this. I mean, if you think of all the hard work we put in to get this ship, and to uh, grind the discs to be able to get to the next tier of ship, having to use that then suddenly to just repair our ship, or like, get our ship back is not going to be nice. Okay, I need to move a bit to the side, because I was thinking we'd be able to get through that triangle over there, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. Get yeah, this extraction note, like, you know, it would be nice to do product discovery to just get <laughs> get this to the max level. Then uh, you just get the, if you get to the max level, where's the max level? Is six, uh, 600, 500 in fact. Well, that's a decent loot, 800 plus, uh, 8 million. But we also got that blueprint, which is worth a few extra million. So that was okay. That's good. But say we were to continue doing this, we get 10 times the amount of levels as we've got currently get this martial blueprint and then if we were to get this then we would almost be able to get t6 straight away actually definitely could be something to do but i like to know, I think it's best perhaps to focus on the abyss especially when we're doing this more high tier abyss that's going to be a bit more difficult probably good to focus on doing the sites they're not that relaxing that i feel like doing product discovery is just easy but if i was doing something like t2s then perhaps i would consider to do that because if i was able to do t2s relaxingly I'm using a ship that's not worth that much. If I do lose it, it's not going to be the whole world, and I'll be getting quite a bit of isk from doing the product discovery, actually. Yeah, product discovery could be a good option, actually. If I was, if you think of all the times we did this, these sites, if we had done product discovery at the same, at the same time, we probably could have got a lot of extra isk, actually. Maybe I should try it. Because it would be a, like quite a bit of extra, just you know, a little side isk. If we put it down here in the corner so it's not too disruptive for you guys. Because I know there's people who don't like that I do this at the same time. So we'll just try keeping this in the bottom corner. If we just do one side first. Because you you can actually press enter to go to the next one. But you have to do, for some reason, you have to do one slide to be able to press enter. And we'll probably go with the corn flag here. Actually, we'll go towards this extraction node. Because this is going to allow us to... Just pull it in if we just destroy it first. So you can see here, I can just do this at the same time by pressing enter. So then I don't have to uh, have it obstructing the view of the ship and that kind of stuff. Put a scorch. Popped. Okay, now we'll go to the biodactive. And we've got really high levels, so uh, and accuracy we will be adding quite a bit. We get 99,000 per, sli uh, per slide. It's not a crazy amount of it, but it's something for very little work. So it is actually a very, a very good side disc activity. No, I, I mean, if it is re feels relaxing enough to do this, I might do it because it is a more, a lot more, quite a bit more isk than I remember actually to do this product discovery on the side. I was probably I stopped doing it probably because I was thinking that. Well, we're earning so much. It's in the T4. This is not worth our time. But it is actually still something. 
That could also be why perhaps everything is going a bit slower now than in T4 because we stopped. Ooh, because we stopped doing the. Uh, that we stopped doing the product discovery. Hmm, maybe that could be a reason why. Okay, we're almost done with this room. Just grab that uh, extraction node, and we can tank these guys fine because there's only just two of them. And this is probably where we can use product discovery. So it's nice. Okay, we've got stuff working for us. We've got the MTU pulling in loot. And then also we've got uh, the uh, the product discovery going on in the background. So we can get like a, quite a bit of extra side isk if you think of what, like when you take everything into consideration. Like we're not just doing the bide afters, we're doing extraction nodes and we're also doing product discovery. So we'll be getting quite a bit more isk than usual just by adaptive hunting. Are we able to apply? And the time is alright as well, yeah. So just we're not way burning time here that we're not able to get this done in a timely fashion and we also get a lot of the bonus xp as well every day so it could be an option as well to do that because every day you get uh, like quite a bit bonus xp like the first few sites or slides you do not sites <laughs> so they could be very good to capitalize on i think but, so we can't do that unfortunately we're doing it too fast it seems Grab one here and here. Now we want to do this slowly because if we do it too fast, it's not going to be okay. Oh, 3.8 million, including the buy adaptive. That is very sad. Very, very sad. You think like 3.8 million is just one extraction node, let alone the buy adaptive. And it's like, that's the both combined. Yes. I think it's probably because the buy adaptive loot was bad. But then also because, oh look, you see that? Like one extra million, it's not a lot, but it's something. That's every five minutes as well. And then if you think of it like this, the, the so it's like probably the buy adaptive was already low, just a couple of million, and then it, the extraction was just like 200K or something like that, like nothing. Because sometimes the extraction those can really truly be worthless. So we've got elite lucifers. These guys are going to be slightly problematic. So we want to go for them first. You scorch on these guys. Oh, we do take quite a bit of damage actually. Probably want to use drones. We'll get pro discovery in the meantime. Mm, yeah, look at that. This team take quite a bit of damage actually. Is uh, are we reactively reacting? Yeah, we're reacting a bit. Can we get some EM damage going on? No, it's just pure explosive. It seems. Oh, 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 oh. We're probably going to overheat this. Uh, we don't have any boosts, it seems. Oh, come on now. Take out this one. The Elite Lucifers are deadly. Take out this Elite Lucifer. It should be alright, because they have the majority of the DPS. Oh, and we didn't have any boosters as well. We forgot to pack the boosters. Hmm. Yeah, that was a bit scary, actually. Probably want to approach them, actually, to get... Oh, look at that. Our drone's taking so much damage. We need to recall them. Oh no, drones no! These drones. Oh, we lost a drone. Better than losing our ship though. And we can't even approach them because we're just getting webbed to oblivion. We can web him. Uh, there are just so many more webs on their side there. It's not really going to do much. Now I can do some bright discovery. And we get back to this biodeptive cache because we can repair our HP up quite easily now that those elites are off the grid because those elites really hit hard elite lucifers are deadly they are lethal they're the ones who will almost always get your hawks in high tier this is because they apply so good they mute they do a ton of damage as well everything you do not want to have when you're using a frigate and then uh, when it comes to cruisers, it's usually not as big of a deal because their tracking doesn't come to as big of an effect. They still do a lot of damage. So as you can see here, there was still a bit of a problem. I'm just surprised though why our reactive armor hardener didn't give any EM damage. And I think it could be because maybe the elites do mostly explosive damage. Because I know that the angels do EM and explosive, so it could be that... Perhaps the elites do a lot of explosive and the rest is EM or something like that. New rank achieved. So 
Let's see if we get a certain level, we will get that in force at 150. And that will be a decent amount of it. Oh, it's alright. Raging Exotic, so that was a, still a decent one. See here, we've got 38 million. That's actually pretty good. I'm happy about that. And we can always go for this extraction subnode here. Deploy MTU. Where's our MTU? Thought I for a second had forgotten it because I couldn't really find it in the inventory. Take out this extraction node. Go towards the bioadaptive orbit here at 500. Okay, great. There we go. The site done. And we've got a decent amount of disc this time. It was a lot because of these filament drops. We've got raging electrical, which we'll have to reuse because that's what we're using right now. But it's good that we got an extra one of these. Plus the raging exotic. That is a good one. That is a definitely a good one because it goes for 8 million just for one filament. So we'll see. Okay, that extraction. I didn't have anything, so we don't even need to bother. And there's no cargo container as well. So there we go. Another, some more T4 electrical sites. Possibly we'll be continuing with product discovery to speed up our progression a bit. We'll see. We'll see. But um, it was good to see that at least the second site was a lot more profitable than the first. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.